Hi everyone, this is Joy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be part of Spellbinder's October Club Kits blog hop. And for that, I am using the Glimmer Hot Foil set of the month, Crimson Fall. Everything that I've used for this project is listed and linked below and also on my blog. I'm going to start with a piece of 120 pound cardstock. I have this from Simon Says Stamp and I'm using some oxide, distress oxide inks to ink this up. I'm starting with spiced marmalade in the center, carved pumpkin, and this last color that I'm adding is the new crackling campfire. This is the first time I've used it and oh my gosh, it is so pretty you guys. So I'm just going to use my little mini ink blending tool and just blend this around till I get a nice good blend between all three colors. Going back and forth, again, adding the spiced marmalade in the center, coming back in with more of the carved pumpkin, and then finishing off with the crackling campfire. I love how this card turned out. It is such the perfect orange for fall that I've ever seen. So once I'm done blending that, I'm just gonna clean up my work area and we are gonna to get to some foiling. I'm using the Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month, Crimson Fall, which is a beautiful leaf glimmer plate. I am gonna add this to the top of my card. I'm making some hinges as you can see there and I'm coming in with some starburst foil. Now it's got those fun starbursts on it, but it really looks like Aura and if you guys follow me, you know how much I love Aura foil. So I'm adding that down, trimming off the excess because I cut way too much foil. And then I'm gonna add a li another little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Put that on my Glimmer Hot Foil system. Once that's heated up, I'm going to run that through my die cut machine nice and slow. And then we're gonna peel back gently this tape and see the magic of that foil. And that starburst foil is so gorgeous. We're gonna flip the card over and we're gonna adhere tape down with the hinges, taping down that glimmer plate on the other side, adding more of the starburst foil, heating it up on the, the glimmer hot foil system and running it through the die cut machine again. And now that we peeled this back, now we have this complete frame around our inked background of beautiful foiled leaves. I've die cut an oval shape from the Shape Abilities Oval Coronet die set, and I inked it up the same way that we inked up the other background. And I'm using the sentiment Hello Pumpkin from the Crimson Fall Glimmer Hot Foil Kit, to putting that on a tape hinge and using the same starburst foil for this sentiment. I'm just using uh, the piece that we have already used. The center wasn't used up, so I'm not wasting foil, and I cut that little center piece out taping that down, putting that on the hot foil system and running it through the die cut machine. I've also done another little sentiment and this is from the Glimmer Borders and Sentiment set. It says, you are on my mind. And I hot foiled that with blush foil. And it looks, even though it's pink, when you put it against this card, it looks orange. I'm just gonna trim that piece down and I did that onto a piece of 120 pound white cardstock. I trim down my back panel about a quarter of an inch on all sides. Actually, it's about an eighth of an inch on all sides. And I adhered that to a white card base. I'm using foam tape behind that oval. And we're just gonna center that into the opening. I'm gonna add some foam tape behind the You Are On My Mind sentiment as well. And I'm going to adhere that on the oval right below the Hello Pumpkin sentiment. Using a little bit of my foam tape, I just trimmed it down to fit behind that piece. We're gonna pop that on there, and then I'm using some Studio Katia's Gold Fever sequins and a little bit of liquid glue. Sorry guys, I had already glued them on and didn't realize that my, my video was not going. But I glued them, scattered them kind of all over the place, and I love that look. And I just love this starburst foil and that beautiful crimson fall glimmer plate. It just makes for a stunning fall card. I hope that you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, comment, share with your crafty friends. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you guys nothing to use, but it does continue to help me. So thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.